guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Celia and I'm a Danish model, actress, conscious creator and angelic coach. And today we have the weekly reading here on YouTube. Sometimes I do it live on my Instagram, but today I felt like YouTube. I had to use a softbox today because it's a bit dark, so we have the bright light right in my face. Um, if you're new here, I teach people how to reclaim their power. And I combine this with oracle readings that gives you life guidance, life advice and what you can do in the following week to align more with your higher self. So if you like these kind of readings, feel free to subscribe here to my channel and subscribe to my Instagram where I do daily readings as well. And I also offer personal readings through my website, becomeaconsciouscreator.com or you can simply DM me on Instagram. So without further ado, let's get on with the reading for this week, shall we? We are going to use the beautiful and original crystal cards instead. And for those of you who are interested in crystals, I have here my crystals from Spirit, Magic and Net. These are the angel set and um, you get yours as well. I have a discount code in the description that you can use for 11% discount. Okay, so let's mix and see what messages we have for the week ahead starting Monday. came flying Monday. Oh the Kyanid crystal. Make room to take care of yourself. It's essential that you take care of yourself right now. This is a an interesting card for Monday. I personally actually have a super busy Monday so I'm already a bit stressed with everything I need to do. So for me perfect message. And maybe it's the same message for you that even if you have a lot of things to do, it's super essential that you make time to take care of yourself. It could be doing a meditation, it could be doing a workout, it could be making a nutritious meal from scratch. Whatever it is that you feel nurtured by. So for Monday, really do make time for this, even if you feel like your schedule is super busy. On those days, it's even more important to take uh, time for care because it will help you recharge a little bit from all the activities you have. Let's see for Tuesday what message we have. Tuesday, Wednesday came flying. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Tuesday, appreciate yourself. This is the diamond, actually. You are God's precious diamond. And this is another card about overwhelm and stress. So we're getting some messages here. Uh, this card is reminding you that diamonds are created under pressure. So. If you're feeling under pressure, maybe you're in the process of becoming a diamond. And this card encourages you to be kind to yourself in this process because just like diamonds, you would only want to buy fair trade diamonds. Treat yourself fairly. If you're going through stress, the last thing you need is beating yourself up. So be kind to yourself in the process. Be like a nurturing mother, like Monday, do some nurturing activities. And Tuesday, just be mentally nurturing towards yourself. If you have a lot going on in your schedule, then what you need is your own love and understanding and compassion. For Wednesday, stress reduction. Wow, guys, we have a theme going on for this week. Release stress in your body, mind and spirit. And also in your plans. You need to recharge a little bit. So it seems like Monday, Tuesday might be quite stressful and busy days. Wednesday, you need to take a moment to chill out, <laughs> to take care of yourself. Literally take like an hour or so or more if you can in your plans without any plans, just to take care of yourself and try for the rest of the week also to have some space for self-care. I know this society really puts the emphasis on hustle, but that's not really the most efficient way of getting work done. Actually, we work more efficiently when we have a balance between the masculine and the feminine energy, the yin and the yang. 
so far of the week, Monday to Wednesday, it seems like you're being encouraged to go a little bit more in the yin energy, a little bit more feminine, and taking care of yourself, be like a nurturing mother. Of course, it doesn't mean don't live up to your obligations, but you can still make space for self-care, and you can still, um, like, prioritize this part of you. So, that's the message for the first beginning of the week. Let's see what we have for first day. Oops. First day Friday came out here. Okay. I think this one came first. So this was the first day card. Life-changing revelation or experience the lapis lazul. This is a really positive card talking about you having a major realization or a major beautiful experience that helps you evolve in life. And it's just generally a time for you where you're growing and evolving and learning a lot. Um, so first day maybe you have a beautiful experience like this uh, or maybe you're just taking some sort of action that will be very positive in your life. Take what resonates. Um, and just keep doing the personal work that you're doing because it's paying off. And then for Friday, Sujilit, replace the, the need for pleasing others with recognizing your divine power. So this card usually comes if you've been in this uh, state of pleasing others. And maybe you've been putting first what you think others want you to be rather than what you are. So this card is really encouraging you to recognize your own power realize who you are and then focus on bringing that to the forefront instead of what you think other people want you to be and also if you're doing things out of fear of losing someone or something then you're not doing it from your free will and it's very important you do it from your free will so please friday have to take a look at how you act around other people if there is a specific situation where you are trying to please others then try and break the pattern by recognizing that you have your own power and you can make decisions from your own free will not from what you think others want you to be okay saturday florid natural authenticity be the authentic true you just as you are and this card usually comes when it's asking you to have a more natural lifestyle that could be changing your diet to more containing more raw foods. It uh, could be not using so many beauty products or replacing the beauty products that you use with more organic, natural ones. And also just generally embracing you as an individual, your authenticity, and finding out what makes you you. So Saturday could be a little bit of a self-discovery day. And let's see the final message. For Sunday. Okay, here were two cards that came actually. Be strong in your faith and show your true self. The amethyst and the dolomite. So combined, this has to do with, first of all, show, again, authenticity, like the Saturday card. Maybe if you have some kind of social event going on from Friday to Sunday, it seems like there's something about you not pleasing others and instead actually showing your authentic self. Maybe in social settings you have a tendency to be like a pleaser. And these cards are really encouraging you to be your true self. Because many times when you shine your true self, so you, will, you will actually attract opportunities. Very abundant opportunities. Because you are in alignment with the divine. And with yourself. And uh, so Sunday also show your true self. That means dressing in a way that's like you. Talking in a way that's authentic to you. You don't have to know exactly what's the authentic you. Like it's not a perfect thing. It's something that you learn. But just try and be as much you as possible. And then also be strong in your faith. There's maybe some situation. You're waiting for a response or an answer. This card is telling you it depends on your mindset. So be strong in your faith. 
um, choose positive thinking and also recognize that you have this divine power inside that is capable of supporting you in life. So yeah, that's the reading for this week. Monday, Monday to Wednesday is just about self-care, uh, taking time for self-care every single day. So do that Monday to Wednesday, every single day have time for self-care and um, be kind to yourself also mentally you're going through some stressful situation here a lot of work maybe and you just need to be kind to yourself first day life-changing revelation maybe as a result of you taking this time for self-care because when we do that we really become more magnetic and we open up for channel channels of support and then from friday to sunday it's really a lot about you being your authentic self uh, recognizing your own power, stop pleasing others and show the authentic true you that you are. And this will be easier if you take the first part of the week as a self-care week because then you will be more recharged, you'll be more in connection with yourself and more able to express who you are. And then being strong in your faith, positive mindset, recognizing your divine power and focusing on the outcome that you want. Okay guys, so that was the weekly reading of this week. Let me know in the comments if this resonated with you. Let me know also if you prefer to have it here on YouTube or on Instagram or both. And again, if you want more clarification, you can book a personal reading through my website, becomeaconsciouscreator.com or by sending me a DM on Instagram. And you can also learn how to do these readings for yourself by connecting with your angels and by connecting with your higher self which is what i teach and how to communicate with the angels so i recommend that you go check out that book as well it's basically my life's work it's everything that i've learned in the last 10 years of growth and evolution and everything i've done to be able to do these readings and to be able to live from alignment in my own life okay guys thank you so much for tuning in i love you all and i look forward to see you all in the very next video Ciao!